Eric Fennell has joined us again. He's the Director of Sales and Marketing for GHC Hospice. So it's good to see you again. You Thank were you. with Senior Living and now you're with Hospice. Correct. So um, new venture, new kind of career change, different, but it's you know, you're enjoying it. Different and uh, absolutely rewarding. Uh, I'm still helping people uh, right. and that's something that drives me in right. my professional careers. So people, a lot of people don't understand what hospice really means, what the services mm -hmm. um, that hospice provides. You wanna share with the viewers? Yes, absolutely. Um, many people, when they think of hospice, they think of um, clinical people treating one individual. Right. We have a team of chaplains, social work, um, aides. Those folks all care for not just the patient that is traveling through a disease process, but also uh, the entire um, family unit or the caregiving unit that is there in the home. Right. And it's not just the last month of life. It could be the services are available. I know it's like palliative care, so end of life, but it could begin earlier than that. Correct. And, and really, uh, the way Medicare looks at it is the last six months of life. Okay. So you, we really have to look at a disease, the individual, where they are in that process, mm -hmm. and then make an, uh, an, the best educated guess that we can. Uh, from a timing standpoint. All right. Now, GHC Hospice, you said started in Jessup, Georgia. Correct. But it's expanded to other, you know, other counties in Georgia and now into South Carolina. Correct. So what makes GHC special and unique? I, I, you know, I had the opportunity to use GHC in my senior living communities mm -hmm. and um, as well as other hospice organizations as well. They just did a phenomenal job at really the personal care that they delivered to my residents at the time, mm -hmm. um, which then uh, prompted me to, to make a career change. So. And so what, again, talk about specifically the services that they do provide, you expand on that. Obviously for the person with the disease, we are looking at um, clinical care. We're looking at uh, an aide coming in to help with bathing, grooming, dressing, getting somebody up and going for the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have chaplain services. We have social work. Um, all of that combined uh, really helps everyone navigate through the disease process. And, you know, each case is so individual. Um, somebody may not want chaplain services and somebody may choose that. Right. Um, in addition, we don't just cut services at the end of life. Mm -hmm. We continue to follow a family for 13 months after that person has passed. I know my brother had ALS in oh, Columbia and yes. we used hospice or we had hospice for two years with him actually. Mm -hmm. And it was so a beautiful thing when, when after he passed, that the spiritual leader, the, the chaplain called it to just check on our family and how we were doing. That meant so much. Sure, absolutely. So, you know, there are so many different hospices. There's private, there's there's more nonprofit. How are they rated or who kind of governs all that? Um, Medicare, when uh, service stops, Medicare will send out a, um, a survey to mm. families of the, um, the patient yeah. okay. and they answer. Um, fortunate to say, 96% of our families have uh, rated us. They will recommend to wow. others our hospice. So wow. that's huge. That is huge. 96%? Yes. yes. That's an A plus. To me, that's an A plus. Yes. That's a home run yeah. for sure. And, you know, hospice is so delicate. If we if we don't do it right the first go around, it leaves a very bad impression. And then people the talk to other people and say, don't use. Correct. But in, in GHC hospice, how, how, how is it, um, how is hospice paid for? You mentioned Medicare. Correct. Uh, last minute here. Right. Uh, the Medicare folks, um, I'm sorry, Medicare does pay for uh, a bulk of, of the people we do care for. We also look at Medicaid uh, as a billing source mm -hmm. and also private insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Any final message you want to share with our viewers about GHC and what makes it special? Just uh, phenomenal care overall. Um, right. And I've experienced it from a user standpoint. Okay, so. and, and the website is jchospice.com. Correct, if very simple. Any questions, and of course, Eric can can educate. You see, a lot of your job is education. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, yes. So many know so little about hospice. Right. It's, it's, uh, I find myself, instead of selling, um, more educating folks on what services we do have to offer. Right, good. Eric, good to see you again. You as well, Rob. Thank you for everything you're doing for our community. Appreciate yes. it. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad. Don't go away, everyone.